Hello again, Irish fans, and welcome to the official UND.com Notre Dame football training camp report for Thursday, August 18th, 2011. I'm Jack Nolan coming to you from another very summery day here inside the Labar practice complex when the Fighting Irish took the field today for their 16th training camp practice. The sun was shining brightly as it is now. Temperatures in the mid-80s. Weather has not been a factor affecting Notre Dame's preparation during these first two weeks of training camp. Today also marks our 13th day of exclusive training camp reports here on UND.com and today's report is going to focus on the very deep, talented and experienced Notre Dame linebacking core. When college football fans think of Notre Dame linebackers this year, Manti Teo's name is deservedly the first one that comes to mind. Teo had a dominant season in 2010, leading the team in tackles with 133, the most by an Irish player since Tony Frigianic made 147 tackles back in 1983. Teo also finished second on the squad with nine and a half tackles for loss. Manti has already been named to the watch lists for the Lombardi, Butkus, Bidnarik, and Nagurski Awards, and is also a legitimate first team All-America candidate. Teo says the experience he has gained during his first two seasons playing for the Irish will help him be an even better player this year. I'm just more comfortable in general. Um, you know, it's my second year under this system. Um, I know where I, where I have to go. Um, I know, you know what, I ha what checks I have to make, the checks that are made on certain plays. Um, so I'm just focusing on making plays now, you know, instead of fitting the play, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, Personally, I'm just trying to focus on little things, you know, as my pre-snap reads, I'm not false stepping, my, my tackling techniques, you know, all, all those little things. As a leader now of uh, the linebacking core, how do you fulfill that role? Um, I think I just, I think Ray Lewis said it best, in order to lead you have to be the best servant, you know, I mean you have to serve, um, you have to, in order, in order to be the best servant you have to have the trust of your teammates, so, you know, every day I'm just trying to grow that trust, that brotherhood um, with my, with my teammates and um, just be there, be there for them, for the, for the younger guys who have questions, um, just be that, that guy they can come to. While Teo attracts most of the national attention, he is not the only talented veteran returning at the linebacker position for the Irish this fall. Junior Carlo Calabrese, number 44, started the first eight games alongside Teo in 2010. Despite missing the Tulsa and Utah games with a hamstring injury, Calabrese still finished fifth on the team in total tackles and tied for fifth in tackles for loss. Backing up Teo at the Mike linebacker slot on the preseason depth chart is number 54, senior Anthony McDonald, while number 48, junior Dan Fox, is listed as the backup to Calabrese. But both are facing stiff competition from sophomores Kendall Moore, number 8, and Justin Utupo, number 53. Returning as the starter at the cat outside linebacker position is number 45 senior Darius Fleming. Fleming started all 13 games at the position last season and led the Irish in sacks and tackles for loss. Backing him up is Fleming's fellow senior in Chicago and Steve Filer. Filer made 14 tackles last season and led the Irish in special teams tackles. After being the top reserve at the cat linebacker position last season, sophomore Prince Shembo, number 55, now holds down the top spot at the dog outside linebacker position. Last year, Shembo was a big play linebacker, recording five tackles for loss and four and a half sacks. Listed as Shembo's backup this preseason is sophomore Danny Spawn. Spawn starred at quarterback in high school, but used his outstanding speed and size to make a successful transition to the linebacker position during his freshman year. There are four talented freshmen also competing to see the field this fall, led by number one, Eshaq Williams, considered one of the top linebacker recruits in the nation this year. Along with Williams, number 30, Ben Council, number 59, Jarrett Grace, and number 56, Anthony Rabassa, had already shown in fall camp that both the present and future looks very bright for the Irish linebacking core. This week, defensive coordinator and linebackers coach Bob Diaco broke down the play of the linebackers so far in camp. The linebackers are improving. Uh, e even the players that, that you would see as an A player, uh, they're moving their game along. 
uh, we're working we're working on that next next level of teaching you know that three four hundred level uh, the will linebacker shaping up there are two players there that are going to be able to go in and play competitively and win their individual matchups um, we're working on a next man in Mike I'd say that that's the most efficient position at this point for a multitude of reasons um, and and there and there'll be enough at outside linebacker uh, to have a rotation there if necessary. Part of training camp's discovery. Has anybody surprised you at all? Surprise? Uh, no, there, there's not a surprise, good or or bad. I think that um, I have a, a healthy vision on on the capabilities of young men and and a firm believer of. Uh, when expectations exceed ability, problems arise. So we try to keep expectations in line with their abilities, and their abilities will change as they gravitate from first year to second year, third year to fourth year. The Irish will hit the field again tomorrow morning, and then we'll get their first break since practice started on August 6th. The players will not return to the practice field until Sunday night. Tomorrow's practice report will focus on the Irish quarterback position. Jack Nolan, UND.com.